Good morning, traders. Happy Friday. Happy end of the week. Um, the beginning of the weekend. That's the best part about it. <laughs> hey, but anyways, guys, hey, it's been a while. I know it's been a couple days, actually like a week or so. Um, I'm glad to be back, guys. Um, so let me just give you a quick update with the, the you know, with what's going on. So um, the, you see the equity here is at 5.05. Um, so what happened was um, I actually, I think uh, that that same day um, after I made the last recap, um, I made a small trade. But the reason why is because I, I realized that my account was at like 6, um, six it was going to be like 6.13. So I said I need to get it because what happens is um, the, ver the last day of each month, CMEG, they take out the platform fee. In my case, the platform fee is... Uh, hundred and twenty five dollars so knowing that um, I, I had to get the account to 625 at least 625 um, so that way that next day or whatever it was the next day or the day after that um, when they took it out I would still have over five hundred dollars to trade I wouldn't have to go and deposit anything else so I actually did make another trade and I think I made like 13 bucks on it or something like that I, I forget the exact number uh, but anyway, it brought me up to like, uh, what was it, 6.30. Um, so therefore, you, you see my equity now at 5.05 because they took out the 125. Um, and this goes for everybody. Um, you know, every the end of the month, the, the last day of every month. So in this case, this February, the 29th, they will take out uh, the platform fee. I use Dash Trader. That's 125. They may have, I'm not sure how their fee structure is for um, Sterling, there's Sterling Pro and, and, and any other accommodations you may want. You may not want level two, you may want additional things. So the fees may vary, but to have what you see here, exactly what you see here, that's 125. So, anyway, guys, I'm back. Today was pretty easy. Um, and then I've getting throughout the week, I've been working, I've been doing all kind of stuff, running my businesses and things of that nature. So, I haven't had time to really trade. Um, but I'm, I'm back today, um, and then I'll be back Monday for sure as of right now. But, um, yeah, guys, up $82 before commissions, $33.71 after commissions. I definitely traded a little more than usual. Excited to be back. I traded, I made five total trades, four winners, one loser, all on the same stock here, GNPX. And as you can see, it's still going um, haywire here parabolic um, so yeah uh, let's get right into it guys so this one here I saw this morning I actually looked at the, the chart and I see that it this was actually a continuation move because it looks like it started yesterday all right so you see here it jumped up yesterday from like 160s the 170 area up to about three dollars in pre-market uh, post market after hours all right so i saw that and i said hey i might have you may have continuation here so let's look for opportunities so i looked this morning and i watched it now it wasn't the easiest because if you look it was just back and forward but you can see as you look and see you have to mark these you don't have to mark these things up but it just makes it easier and clear to to make your decisions um, but I saw a wedge forming I saw a downward wedge forming so I said to myself I said okay when it if it breaks out of this I'm gonna go ahead and just take a shot at it long and if it comes back down under the wedge then I'll just be stopped out all right so I watched it you know, I was watching from 7 o'clock this morning. Watched it, watched it, watched it. And as you see, it, it, it stayed confined within this range. It did come up a little here. And I was watching to see if it would... I said, I'm not going to get in directly as soon as it went over. This thing is going parabolic, guys. It's still going. But uh, anyway, um, I said, I'm not going to... Um, just go in it as because if you look look at just take a look at it it, it was stair stepping any stock that stair steps down stair steps up stair steps down 
you have to be cautious with just jumping right into it because that usually means it's it's pretty choppy. You know, if you if you've been watching stocks for a while, you you'll start to see that, you know, you see all of these small little candles, small candles meaning it's not much movement in either direction. I um, mean, here, you know, you had a a nice impulse move here and then just stair stepping, stair stepping, but this is what I look at as well to kind of help you determine if a stock is more likely to be bullish or bearish, but in this case, bullish. Now, just compare the candles, right? On the up move, what do you see? You see large engulfing candles, right? You see it here. I'll try to zoom in a little for you. Now, this does not always mean you need other things to put it into context, but you see large engulfing up moves, large, right? You see this, okay? Now, as it goes down, what do you see? Candles half the size of these large candles. You know, you have to note these things. You have to be, you know, in this line of business, what I learned is what I is you have to pay you have to pay attention to detail. Okay? You can't just, you know, broadly look at, you know, detail is key if you really want to read the market. So anyway, as you see, when it goes down, what did you see? Small candles, very small. So that means it's, it's, it's stair-stepping down, but then again, it's, it's shooting up. So that means, you know, basically what that tells you is there's just a little profit taken in there, but the the whales are buying, but the, 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 the strong hands are buying and the weak hands are selling. That's why it's such small moves down, right? So I noted that. So I, in the back of my mind, at that point, I said, okay, this is more, even though it's still within this wedge, it's still within the wedge, is a, a higher likelihood of a breakout to the upside. Because, you know, once the wedge squeezes in, once the wedge get decreases in, in internal space, the stock is going to have to make a decision. Whether it's going to either have to shoot up out of it or shoot below it. But seeing the what's going on within the um, wedge kind of helps you out. All right. So as you see, all of these candles going down, small, 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 very small. All right. Small, small again, very small. Okay. Now take a look. Now, now what do you see? You can see this is clear that you see how large these candles are compared to all of these little, these little candles here. I'll actually try to help point it out. See all of these little candles here? How small they are compared to the larger ones. So that's that is one um way that you can kind of that'll help sway your bias in what direction it's going to go. That's not the only thing now. Don't 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 uh use that as the holy grail in itself. But if you combine that with other you know technical analysis it definitely can help you right so I, I noticed that I kept a note of it so I said okay once it gets up here I want to see it break it broke and then I got in at uh, actually I didn't get in here this is this is when I, I said I was gonna wait for it to come down I'm gonna go ahead and just zoom forward so I got in I actually I got it at the right time. My first trade was a losing trade, and then the, the next four were winners. I actually got in at the right time, but I, I got out just prematurely. Uh, my stop was at, uh, I think it was 3.02. No, it was at 3.02. Yeah, it was at 3.02. And I got out just prior to that, but I'll show you here. All right. So at 9.23. I got in for the break because, like I said, I had noticed, you know, if you see the, the wedge squeezing, it's starting to squeeze in. It's nowhere near the size it was back at 8 o'clock. So I saw it going up, over. I told myself I'm not going to let it go under 303. And um, I went ahead and got out. But it shot back up. And this was... Uh, you know, it was a it was a larger candle than all these other ones, so that told me it was bullish. It's over the wedge now, and then it's bouncing off right here. Let's let's take a look. 
it bounced off. That's confirmation for those who would have waited till 9.29. I got in at 9.30, and that was all she wrote from there. Uh, 3.20 to 3.31. Got back in 3.48 to 3.57. Got back in again 3.87 to 3.91. Then finally 389 to 418, which that was like a 28, 29 cent move. So that was the big winner there. So there you have it, guys. Make this one short and sweet. Um, so there, there it is, guys. So yeah, you know, you just basically you watch for the patterns, and you know, obviously I marked up the daily first, but there was no real resistance. So it basically had room to just run. I had no, you see on the chart, it's really, there's no overhead daily resistance. So it, when you see a stock like that, it, it can go to the moon. You know, it has nothing to stop it, nothing nearby to stop it. All right, so let's get back to it. Yeah, guys, so I went ahead and took my profit. I could have kept riding it, but I, I felt like it was getting a little bit extended. Although it still, it, it, it kept going up. But I said I'll just go ahead and leave it at where I am now, get my feet back wet, and I'll be back at it first thing Monday morning. All right, guys, so I just want to check in and just let you guys know I'm still alive here. <laughs> I'm not dead. I'm here. I'm here. I just I've been doing outside real life things, you know, stuff you do in the real world and not sitting on a computer all day. Uh, but now I'm back and I actually got to get out of here in a minute. So just want to check in with you guys. So if I could leave you with anything, guys, like I said, you know, build, draw on your charts, draw on your charts. Don't be afraid to draw. Don't try to just visualize everything. Actually draw, draw things, you know, so it makes it clearer. And it makes you not have to work as hard, you know. If you got it, see, you see this here, it's drawn. Now you can, you don't have to just watch the chart and and kind of guess. Okay, this is a trend. No, you see it from here. All right, so yeah, draw things out, make things clear for yourself, guys. It makes it easier for you. And also, what I like, I said earlier in the video, pay attention to detail, guys. Just pay attention. This this line of work requires an attention to detail i'm sure if you've done resumes or job applications a lot of them you know would state that you know they would like someone with who has an attention to detail i um, mean that's the same prerequisite for the market so what i mean by that is you have to look at the candles you have to look at the trend you have to remember if it's higher highs higher lows you know you can't get caught up in all right this is another thing I, I was gonna save it for another video but this is another thing don't do this don't get caught in this right here what I mean by that is zoomed in charts that is a big no-no but I won't get too far there I'm gonna make some videos to tutorial videos about all of this so it'll it'll cover it in depth but zooming in like this into your chart is a no-no <laughs> I know. I used to do it when I was young and trading and all that stuff, but zoom out so you can see the big picture and then <clears throat> pay attention to detail. But that's it for this video, guys. Hey, hit that like button if you like the content and hit subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to learn a little bit from someone who's, I'm not a professional, uh, but I've been doing this for, this month makes three years. February, I think February 17th would make three years. So, you know, go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button and then you can keep up with someone who has a little experience if you're, you know, just starting out or not even that. If we just could, you could just pass, we could pass ideas around. You can, you know, I can probably teach you something you didn't know and you could probably leave something in the comment, teach me something I didn't know. All right, guys, but I, it was good talking to you. Have a good weekend.